Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Backpacking. Today I'm gearing up to go out on a 30 mile overnight, going ultra late this trip, so I wanted to show you what I am packing with me. Fully loaded all this gear to feed and hopefully keep me hydrated for two days. Weighs in at exactly 15 pounds. The base weight is right at 10. I did have to shave some things I would normally bring. Wired headphones as a backup. Uh, some sunscreen, made sure the meds were just as much as I may need, and I was able to get it right down to that 10 pound mark for that ultralight. That does include the camera and all of that. So happy to get it there. So let me start with the bags I'll be carrying. This is the Light AF 35 liter multi-day and then their lightweight fanny pack. So in the fanny pack, I'll have the camera you're currently viewing this on. I will have my little extendable GoPro tripod. I will have my Apple AirPod Pros and a handful of snacks, one for each day. On the outside of the bag, I will have my Z-Lite sit pad. I will have my Six Moons umbrella. I am expecting rain on Tuesday, hoping to do two 15 mile days. I've got my one liter smart water bottle. Uh, there will be, oh, probably about a six or seven mile dry stretch. So I will also have to possibly dry camp one night, the only night I'm out there. So I will also have a Canuck Vecto with me to carry water in. I have my little Garmin InReach Mini. And we have said Canuck Vecto with my Sawyer Squeeze. We have my first aid kit, which has uh, gear repair, uh, my compass, backup lighter, all of the meds and safety stuff I may need. And then my poop slash ditty kit. Had to combine them to save some weight. So I've got a 10,000 milliamp battery bank in there, charging cords, headlamp, and then a trowel, um, some wipes, and my uh, backcountry bidet. Into the body of the pack. Starting at the top is my Frog togs. That is my jacket. And then my enlightened equipment wind pants in case I need a little bit of extra warmth. I don't think I've ever really hiked in rain pants just because I get so hot. So those are more so to kind of keep me a little bit dry at camp and a little bit of extra warm. Temps are going to be in the high 40s to about 70. So even though it's October, pretty, uh, pretty good warmth there. Next up is my food bag, I've got my cook pot, my BRS stove, fuel can, and two lunches, two dinners, and one breakfast in there, along with some drinks, coffee, electrolytes, that kind of thing. Then we have my tent. Since I'm expecting rain, I'm not bringing the tarp. I'm going to bring my Z-Pax duplex with my steaks in there. I don't count tracking poles in this because I'm carrying them. Same with my cell phone, kind of call that worn weight since it sits in my pocket. Next up is my Outdoor Vitals Stormloft 30 degree quilt. Then we get some extra clothing. Warm flare is my Torrid Apex from Enlightened Equipment, so my puffy. I've got some smart wool. I think these are the 150 tights. And my Outdoor Vitals sun hoodie. I find this is really nice to sleep in. Long sleeved. Keeps me just warm enough without overheating. And I've got my pillow strap pillow with the uh, big sky inner. And then one of these medical pillows. This I tend to hug. I find that it helps keep my uh, arms from falling asleep since I kind of sleep like this on my side. By the way, all of this stuff is in a Nilo Fume pack liner. Uh, I want to make sure I stay nice and warm, so I am bringing my NeoAir X-Therm. Thought I was going to have to give that up for weight. Thankfully, I didn't. And then I've got a pair of darn tough socks and some Under Armour gloves. Um, I did toss out the beanie for weight because I do have a hood on this and I do have a hood on the uh, sun shirt. And with temps is... Uh, Warm, we'll say as they are, not too worried about getting cold. I can always kind of head to bed early if I need to. So all of that weighing in at, it was 
pounds, so just under 15 total. Although if I do have to carry water, we would add two liters, so another 4.4 onto that, putting it close to the 20 pound max that they recommend for this frameless bag. 10 pound base weight, pretty happy with that. Hoping to get a nice uh, cruisy 30 miles on the PCT, kind of connecting my steps between the very southern part of Washington into Oregon. So I'll end up in Cascade Locks where hopefully the wife will pick me up and take me back to my uh, truck parked at the trailhead. For more information on all the gear you see on this channel, visit topshelfbackpacking.com. And until I see you again, cheers.